Okay, just a real quick video here announcing this thing here that uh, Jacob uh, from winepressnews.com brought this out. Let me know about this. Um, I had some dealings with Jeffrey Greider many years ago. He actually wanted to do a debate on the rapture issue. Um, myself and him versus Ken Hovind and Steven Anderson. And it never manifested, but you know, I wrote back and forth with Jeff Greider for a little bit. And I would I mentioned some things. And a bunch of women contacted me and said, uh, Brother Brian, this guy's a snake. Uh, he's done some real sexually perverted stuff or whatever. And I confronted him and I said, hey, what's this all about? And he said, oh, he said yeah, I, I kind of messed up at this one church. I think he was going to in California or something at the time. And um, and he said, you know, I, I made some mistakes and they just won't forgive me or whatever. And I kind of thought, okay. And then there was some... Uh, sort of new agey conference or something and he was going to speak there and a couple people confronted him on that and he okay I won't yeah I won't go to that and and I just kind of all right whatever but uh, this article here I'm going to click on it um, it goes into some real shocking things um, about this guy uh, that's what he looks like right now it's, you know long hair uh, okay little violation of scripture there it's a shame for a man to have long hair you know whatever and I remember he was face masked up and everything during the scamdemic and all that it's another issue uh, but it goes down through here you can read this whole article I you know if you're given to this guy I would su suggest that you check into this there's some really bad things that this guy's been a part of very shocking stuff I read the a whole article here um, I'll just go down here um, and uh, he wrote this article about perversion and saying that he's having a hard time with it and whatever. Well, um, then uh, there was a situation here. here. He's talking about it right here where um, he goes into this whole thing. Here's the affidavit that this uh, woman that was involved with him, um, some very perverse things that Grider did. Here's the police report and whatever else. He was drunk and he did a bunch of very foul things and whatever else. I'm not even going to get into it. You can read it. It's very bad. But, uh, and this is all, you know, this, the, when he was uh, doing this perverted stuff up there with the police reports or whatever, that's when he was, you know, writing to me and saying we should do ministry type of stuff, you know, do this uh, thing together or whatever, this rapture debate issue. And, and uh, he featured a video or two of mine on his website, um, and then it talks about how he was some woman from Maine here the state where I live currently um, he had her move down there and they were living together for months before they finally got married that's a bit of a problem there there they are together <clears throat> oh there wasn't anything going on and whatever else so he assured me uh huh a uh, guy that has had sexual problems for years and uh, just not doing anything but this is kind of shocking here, this William Grady guy. Um, and he goes into covering up for Grider. Um, and he says here about the, where's the thing about them? Uh, while Brother Jeffrey's ponytail could cause some legalists to question his veracity. It's not legalist, okay? They're Grady. It's what the Bible says. There are standards in Scripture. But, you know, Dress standards being an unfortunate weakness among Ruckmanites. Uh, how about Bible believers that have dress standards? So, yeah, look out for this guy, too. I mean, I wrote a comment on this article here uh, that I've seen this thing with the Baptists for years. And I'm going to have to start talking more about this stuff. There's, there's cover-up after cover-up with sexual perversion. Uh, it happened with the whole Jack Hiles call. I'll put links to that whole thing at the end. Been contacted by lots of people, probably 100 or more people that have left the Jack Hiles call, telling me stuff that they saw and went on and everything else. Terrible. And Ruckman knew about it. People came to Peter Ruckman and they told him about Jack Hiles and, and he covered up for Jack Hiles. I, I, probably I'll have to bring that video out sometime showing the proof of that, that he covered up for Jack Hiles. These guys do this all the time. I honestly, honestly, I'll say this. And if any of you have information, please send it to me, to my uh, ministry address here, uh, King James Video Ministries, P.O. Box 214, 
Hatton, Maine, 04765. But I honestly have to wonder if some of these guys aren't Freemasons. And that's why there's so much cover up between them. Um, I don't know. If anybody can send me proof that Ruckman was a Freemason, I will publicly uh, condemn the guy. You know, go against what he was and whatever else. I have questions. I have very serious questions. I will voice them publicly because I see stuff like this. Living with a woman for months, Jeff Grider, and they all oh, we'll decide to get married now. Come on here. These guys that are divorced and remarried and divorced and remarried. And you watch him. You watch him. If he's a real pervert, it won't last long. His marriage won't last long. And, oh, God's told me to go and, you know, marry and shack up with some other woman now and some other woman like Ken Hoven did. There are standards that are there in the New Testament. And these hyper grace guys, oh, there's just, you know, God's grace. Hey, we're all sinners. We can. No, there's standards where you kick people out and you say, you're done. You're finished. So, uh, the Baptist church thing is just, there are no church buildings in the entire New Testament. And Ruckman wrote in his book, and I have the quote, uh, where he says, if you go, if you have a church building, you are anti-New Testament. Anti-New Testament. And yet, he had one. Why did he do that? So, uh, that's going to be it for this little video. Go there and read this article. He has another one as well on Jeff Grider, some of the weird things that he says about his support of Donald Trump. Uh, you know, the Jesuit educated actor that's a pervert, raving pervert himself, you know, birds of a feather flock together, apparently. Um, so just check out the article. If you're supporting Jeff Grider, you need to stop immediately. And the kind of money that the guy's you know, bringing in and everything else too is just sickening. So, uh, and I guess that is going to be now that little Catholic followers and whatever else will say, oh, you're, you're jealous of him. And whatever. Uh, wicked people. May the Lord rebuke, may the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke Jeff Grider and all those who support him.